this is a uh, spring break 2011 this here is uh, everything me and Brandy found on two days in three different uh, sites everything we find is on private property with uh, the landowners permission as you can see we had two really good days we have quite an assortment here a lot of bird points we've got some elk and deer teeth these conch shells uh, the Native Americans used to trade with they use it as currency got some more birds there a lot of broke stuff this weekend all these chips here in the middle this is all uh, palm wood it's our Texas fossil this is actually day one here where this is a uh, day two day two produce this nice little camp stone here we got some pottery with some designs and a hole drilled in this one this is going to be a combination video of a uh, spring break 2011's finds and uh, we'll do a virtual tour of our lake house these are some real nice chips translucent some of the better quality material you'll find out here in East Texas besides uh, petrified wood which probably 75 percent of this stuff here is petrified wood it's a real nice drill there got a decent Steiner and a Purdy's some Frileys a couple of gravers here is a Keithville stunner it was a Keithville that was broke and uh, reworked into a stunner this is a, a palm wood knife pretty cool here's Brandy's knife she just found that yesterday anyways that's spring break 2011 here's some of our cast iron that uh, we collect we have a large collection of everything cobalt blue bottles antique bottles any kind of old glassware crystals you name it we've got it marbles we bought this house four years ago and it was a, a complete mess and we've put a lot of time and effort into it here's a frame of uh, some of my favorite stuff as you can see in the middle there's a lot of paleo so despite what you hear East Texas is full of paleo artifacts we got some Dalton's some Keithville's that and ice that was a heartbreaker that was from uh, this winter I wish uh, his other tang was there Here's some bird points. This is some of our larger birds. We got this monster here. A lot of frileys in this area. These beads uh, were found here in Angelina County, also two different locations. This here's a, a bone bead you can see it has a fine hole all the way through Purdy's is about the most common bird point you'll find out here here's a a mystery claw and a heck of a tooth not quite sure what it is probably some large East Texas cat that's no longer here This is a frame of mainly paleo broke butts. <clears throat> There's Clovis's and Scott's Bluff, Angostura's, Plain Views, just about anything. These are all heartbreakers. There's a Dalton. There's a really unusual base of something here. It was definitely serrated, as you can see. Really broad base, excellent flaking on it. I have no idea what it is.
Back to the bottles. We collect blob top bottles. A anything that's pre-1890, we pretty much collect. There's an awesome uh, purple bottle there, Amethyst. Collect some of the older crockery. Old soda bottles. This one here is kind of unique. It's got the marble in it that uh, when it was carbonated it actually sealed the top. It's rare to find those intact. Uh, this particular bottle came out during the depression so most kids busting them open to get the marble out. Here's some pottery. See the cattles love to drill holes in their pottery and make all these awesome designs. Here's a unique one here. Looks like the Eiffel Tower to me, or possibly a deer skull. That's a giant oyster that came out of a petrified oyster bed in Groveton. We mainly hunt Angelina County, Houston County, and Trinity County. A little bit of Polk County. That's our armadillo. This is really unusual. These are uh, all sea related uh, fossils and whatnot. These were all found in Angelina County. Shark's teeth, conch shells, you name it. There's a dolphin tooth there, uh, some stingray teeth. Very unusual to find this stuff here in East Texas. We have quite a collection of uh, pyrography boxes. This first tray here is full of uh, camp stones. The second tray is all preforms. All these boxes are full of surprises. You just never know what you might find when you open one up. Like this one here, it has a full grooved East Texas X. I found this about two years ago. It's in excellent shape. Back to the bottles. We collect mason jars, medicine bottles, just about anything. These uh, mason jars that you see here are full of broken arrowheads. This one here is nearly full. And this one right here is mainly bird points that are all broke. Marbles. Here's a few of our frames that I've put together. That one's just bird points. This one here is uh, mainly drills, engravers. There's a nice table frame. Alright, that's about all I have to show y'all today. I'll get back to you real soon. I'll show you this kettle toolbox on the way out the door. This is uh, mainly knives, scrapers, drills, any kind of tool that was used on a daily basis. This bowl right here is all palm wood knives. These are all preforms in here also, in this small bowl. This tray here is just completely full of palm wood. This is one of our East Texas Indians' favorite material. It's also our state fossil. It's hard to find these bigger chunks. Usually you just find flakes of it. And uh, these are some of the better camp stones. It's a hematite type material. These are kind of rare to find around here. 
And as we walk out the door, I keep some of the bigger stuff outside. These are all camp stones, as you can see. There are several camp stones and insulators. Y'all say hi. Hello. Talk to y'all later. Bye.